do you ever get frustrated about being single if so how do you deal with it did you ever go through a season where you were hidden by god but what gives you strength to continue waiting on god what does doing relationship with god's way look like hi guys welcome to my youtube channel if you are new here i'm rejoice and welcome to my youtube channel as you can see from the title as you can see from the thumbnail as you can see from everything we're going to be talking about singleness today and i have a guest here with me who's going to introduce herself if you haven't met her that means you haven't been here for long because she has been on one of my videos so she's just going to introduce herself again hi guys i am Bui Bella. i am currently 20 20 years okay 20, 21 in a couple of months yeah um yeah and i'm a student at the university of eastern cape mm. yeah all right thank you so with that being said don't forget if you enjoyed the video please give it a thumbs up please leave a comment if there's anything that we say that you want to share your opinion you can do so what else yes please share it with a friend as well yeah. um i think it's going to be a quite helpful video even though i haven't gotten into it but i can feel already yes, that you know yeah because i hope the girls are out come on so let's get straight into the video So we're going to start with um, the first question obviously. The first question says that what phase of singleness are you in? So with that, like in answering that question, it's going to help you see whether or not you identify with the way we're currently at. And then, yeah. And then, How many phases are there? Can okay, I will ask one. You're single. That's... <laughs> Wait. No, no, no. I mean, I... Okay. In my understanding, people can be single, but then... It looks different in different seasons. So okay, I'll explain where I'm okay. at first. So um, I've been single for quite a while, um, and then there was a phase in my singleness where, like, I wanted to be single. Where I was single and I wanted to be single, therefore I was content hundred percent of the time. I was like, God, if you want me to do this for twenty seven years, I can. I mean, obviously, I obviously didn't say that because power of the time. But anyway, yeah, I was. I didn't want to be in a relationship, mm. so it was very, it was nice, man. It, I was cruising nicely. It was beautiful, yeah. rose, what not, what not. And then I think, yeah, around the time I got into varsity, like now the desire was there. Ish. So now it and became, it's everywhere. Yeah. That's what you tend. Yeah. Yeah. You breathe. Yeah. You see your face. yeah. Yeah. So 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 basically. Now I got to a point because like back then like I didn't want to be in a relationship, so I was yeah. like I was single and I was content and I was like yes God let's do this, and then now I got to a point where I actually had the desire and I was like oh it would actually be nice to have any donor in my life, but then now you have the desire but you're still single. Mm. So now the difference with those two phases is that the one it was more like you didn't want to, so it didn't necessarily get frustrated. Mm and then now this is a different season where there's a bit of frustration it's a roller coaster one day you're up one day you're down one day. so yeah with that being said i think this video is to address that actually um yeah i think it's more for people who have been single and you ask yourself questions like god <laughs> time is ticking god have you out. forgotten me yeah and yeah i think yeah it's just to bring encouragement to people who are going through that as well and to let you know that oh you're not alone and whatnot and i think yeah that's the, I, I think for me um being in this uh phase or whatever i want to call it being in this season i've been able to do so because i have people around me who have the same mind and yeah. who, you know so i think that, again that's why we'd be doing this video to help yeah. someone else to know that you're not alone we're, true, we're, yes. we're together we are here in the wilderness it's so yo, 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 yo. so yeah with regards to like what phase you currently in that's me i'm in a phase whereby the desire is there but right. is the husband there no and yeah i think we're gonna unpack oh. that even more oh. we're going to unpack that even more so yeah and then on your end oh, where where are you like yeah. okay let me give a background story give a background okay so um i got saved between 21 obviously and mm. when i got saved i was like oh. mm. 
I don't want this because obviously when you get saved like you're not concerned about a relationship you're like well, mm. I want to know you more mm. I want to you know I was all about God 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 da, 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 da. and then later on that year I was like oh relationship hmm, mm. maybe and then I then I moved on so I feel like late of 2021 to 2022 it was that thing of like yeah man i was on and off right yeah. i so wish i was like oh, <laughs> i enjoyed my symbolism yeah. i so wish i was like oh, man yeah, yeah. just focusing on the lord because yeah. that's the bruh, like you know the thing that annoys me the most is that people don't make it normal or they make it seem like there's a one-way answer Mm. Just focus on the Lord. Oh, I mean, yes, yeah. focus. But then, what is the reality? Yeah, there's going to be a roller coaster. Yeah, this thing. it's a roller coaster. This thing, and it was that thing of like, one day I'll be like, I'm done with these boys. Bro, we need these boys. I'll need them. Yeah. And I'm like, ah, just focusing on God. Da, da, da. And then the next day I'm like, Lord, yeah. I love a Valentine's date. I love yeah. a man to just you know take me out and all that. Yeah. But then right now I'm at a stage where. Yes, I'm waiting. Yes, I'm desiring, but I'm still like, you know, discovering my calling, discovering my talent, serving the house of God, allowing God to use me, mm. and I love it honestly. I love that all my attention is on God. Mm. Like, <laughs> God is cool, just yeah. has my attention, so yeah. that when that man comes, you know, things will just, yeah, it is what it is, right? Yeah. All right. So second question. Do you ever get frustrated about being single? If so, how do you deal with it? Yeah, no, I'm I'm just a... never get, guys. Rejoice. I, I, what do you. <laughs> 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 rejoice. Rejoice could stay single for the next 100 years. He just loves being single. That's all. <laughs> No, 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 That is false information. Let me explain to you what she's trying to say. So let me answer the question first. Do I ever get frustrated? Yes, all the time. But I think the reason why she's saying that I love being single is because we express our frustration differently. So both of us get frustrated and she expresses it differently from the way that I do. So yeah, to answer the question, yes, yes, yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, hey, 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 hey. But God is good. God is All good. All spiritual warfare this way. I'm telling you. Yeah. Nah, like yeah. I think everyone. Well, if you're single and you desire, to, you do get frustrated. You're like, yeah. what? What's going on? Not even that. It's not even like waiting. It's that the guys. <laughs> Maybe not come for the Lord's creation, child. But all I'm saying is, it's frustrating when like, the guys that are approaching you are not the guys that you would ideally want. Mm. You know? Yeah, but like speaking of frustration, I'm thinking about it now. What exactly is frustrating about? Like when you, on your end, when you, when there are times where you get frustrated, like what exactly is frustrating? I mean, I feel like everyone has like that desire to be loved for and cared for and all of that yeah. so for me the frustrating part is one I'm not getting that mm. like yes my friends are here mm. but she calls us a guinea pig they're too <laughs> busy <laughs> they're too busy for me so like it's that thing I'm like I get frustrated because I'm like dang like I really want obviously a, a man to fulfill those desires that I have I also get frustrated because I'm like oh man these guys that I'm talking to yeah. Guys, I'm not, a, I'm not a player. Let me, let me give a warning. Yeah. I'm not a player. I'm just saying the guys that I've interacted with and all of that. I think that's also another thing is that it's important for you to identify the phase that you're in. Mm. If God is calling you to wait, don't talk to no boy. Then don't yeah. talk to no boy. Yeah. But if you know you're single and you know it's not, it's no harm for you to talk to guys. Get to know what you like. Mm. That's the only way. Cause most of them i'm like oh i didn't know i don't like this or oh i don't know that this is a no-no for me you know yeah. but like yeah something that i want to say about getting frustrated something that gets like what gets me frustrated is when um people speak about singleness they're like oh no reason why people are still single is because um you need to do this so maybe god is still working on you or um you need to the lord been working on me since i was born <laughs> don't come for me keep that to yourself 
or you or you need to focus on your relationship with god and what the so i think usually by that's such a trigger <laughs> yeah my frustration comes when i look at these things and i'm like i remember these things <laughs> But like also at the same time, because the second of the second part of the question was like how you then deal with that. Um, on my end, you're the Holy Spirit is so good, so He will just remind me. For me, He will remind me that, listen, I'm not. I don't know what to do. I want to Nisha. Like when you yeah. demand someone something, yeah, I'm not. I'm um, keeping relationships away. Yeah, that one. I'm not telling you nice things. Um, yeah, it's a matter of just trusting me and. Yeah, I think yeah. Every time I go through, have one of my t- tantrums, and the Holy Spirit reminds me of that. That's how basically I go about it. Like that's how I deal with it, and I come back to it, and I'm like, oh no, God's got me. It's just a matter of trusting Him. Yeah. Um, yeah. And I was actually watching the video that we did the other day, and I think it was you who mentioned how. Yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> it was. <laughs> <laughs> it was that video. I was like, eh, my Jesus. You mentioned. Um, like you gave the analogy of a car and how like you don't give oh, a two year old a car and whatnot. So I think maybe I think the same principle applies to relationships as well. Yeah. Even if maybe in your head, because in my head I sometimes think I'm ready, but then maybe God thinks otherwise. So it's a thing of due time basically and just yeah, trusting the Lord's sure. timing. So I think yeah, when I remember that and like basically the Holy Spirit reminds me of all that. I come back and I'm like, oh, okay, cool. Yeah. We are here for a reason. It's okay. It's all well. God still loves me. I'm not left out. He hasn't forgotten about me. Yeah. And yeah. So next question. Um, did you ever go through a season where you were hidden by God? So basically, what I'm then? Very <laughs> This is that season, bro. I don't know. Okay, I'm so just to explain in case you've, you've never come across like that phase. What that means when you're hidden by God. So basically when something is hidden, it's not seen. Mm-hmm. So um if you're a girl and you're hidden, like you're probably not noticed and not seen by like guys and then I don't know if guys can be hidden, but if guys if you're a guy and you're hidden, that means that like with girls you're not um yeah, you're you're hidden basically. So yeah. the DM is dry and okay. yeah, it's not very cute. So yes, that question. Have you ever been hidden by God? I feel like I'm hidden every day. <laughs> I'm hidden, <laughs> so I don't know. Do you the ocean? I don't know. Maybe a guy was open the earth to find me. I, I'm dead, I don't know. Yeah. Am I? Because the, the question is, does hidden mean that you're not pro- approached by guys at all, or does hidden mean you are not? Like the the person that's supposed to be with you doesn't notice you. Yeah. Okay. No, I think in general it means in general. I mean, like guys are not coming. I'm not. Yeah. Oh, then I'm you're not hidden. I thought you're, you're not. She, she, I think maybe no. you were hidden, but currently she's not hidden. I want to be. But like, hidden. have you? Have you? Yeah. The question was, have you been hidden? I am hidden on this university. <laughs> <laughs> Ain't no man say. Shouty. We feel like. <laughs> Let me take you out. <laughs> anyway, the question is, have you been? been yes, I have been. Hidden. Yes. Okay. Cool. So, okay, but you mentioned on your own that you're currently not hidden. I feel like I am still hidden because the man of love of my life has not said hey. But that's not the same thing. But that's what I'm asking. Like, is it only? It means okay. How I understand it, I'm not the one who came up with this definition. I don't even know you got it. But how I understand it is that hidden means that you are not like approached in general. Just in general. Or is your husband didn't approach you as that that one we don't know. Mm. It means in general. So to answer for you, you are currently not hidden, but you've been hidden before. I feel like I'm still, but anyway, <laughs> okay, it's fine. And 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 how was that? You hidden. I mean, obviously it sucks. Yeah. Like to the flesh, it sucks because human beings crave to be <sighs> noticed and all of that. Mm. So obviously, when I'm not getting that satisfaction, I'm just like. Something wrong with me, yeah. Like, you know, this is why I disagree that I'm not hidden because it's like we all have types or people that we would like for them to approach us, mm. and if they don't approach us, then it's like, yeah, I don't care what y'all say. Mm. 
So ten guys can approach me, but if, but if it's not that one, if it's, if not, it's that not those one, ones, yeah. I don't care. Like I'm still hidden okay. because that man's eyes are black. <laughs> His eyes don't see what the Lord has made, but anyway. Have I been hidden? Hey, too much. I feel like God really, when He hit me, He said, I was just deep. <laughs> because, yeah, no, but I think, like she said, so basically, when one is hidden, like from a world perspective, it's like, oh, probably not good enough. Yeah. That's the reason why no one is coming your way, it's because. You are the problem, you are the drama, and you are the what not. And I remember thinking to myself, like, yeah, I was when I was hidden or when I hidden or whatever, mm-hmm. I was I was I was thinking about it to myself and the Holy Spirit like came. One thing about the Holy Spirit, you might not be a friend of that man. He will give you wisdom, he will reveal things to you. But like yeah, he he just revealed how like basically the attention that you get and like um yeah the the attention that you get is not equal to your value. So I was like, eh. that is true. That is true. Yeah, and yeah, and I think yeah, that made me more like content in my hiddennessness. For me, for me, I feel like I know why I'm hidden. I want to be hidden. I don't want to be. Hi. Are you sure? Because I don't like attention. Like I just don't. But mm-hmm. but I think it's my neighbor. I think there's pros and cons to both. Because oh, okay. now if you are hidden, like now you wonder like. God, yes, I know my value, what, but I know I'm fearfully and wonderfully made. But, I mean, honestly, no. that's what I'm saying. Like, I don't care if mm. 10 boys are like, you're pretty. Yeah, but if it's not the one that you forget, I might as well be here, you know? Yeah. Like, that's what I'm like, ah. I feel like there's no difference. I'm just like, I'm still leaving. Okay. The love of my life is not seen. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay, I have a question, right? Okay. Wait, I think I like, see if anyone wants to receive the call of regards to being hidden. Oh, I'm to share on my end. Um Oh, for me, um yeah, when I was just thinking about like being hidden and praying about it, like God, like do you not love me? What is wrong with you? And what the, like he revealed um how okay for me the time um I believe like everything is predestined so yeah. there'll be a time where it'll be the season to get into a relationship mm. so between now and then i'd rather not be talking to anyone than to talk to anyone just to break things off with them if that makes sense yeah I so you. for me now like when i look at it from that perspective i'm like oh okay it makes sense why i'm hidden because either way if someone else comes and they're your type and whatnot but they're not for you like will you be able to you know so so it's better. So I don't for, know. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> I'm joking, I'm joking. So you see, that's why. Okay, that's why for me, I'm like, okay, rather be hidden than for you to be approached. Oh yeah, that is true. That yeah. Prematurely, um, like yeah. I think yeah, it's different for everyone. I would say. Yeah. No, definitely, we're different. Don't take like, what we are saying and everyone. put it on set on. Because for me, I haven't it. been in a relationship, mm-hmm. but God has like saved me from like instances where it would get there mm. you understand what i'm saying so yeah. i'm like okay well, what are you predicting me <laughs> yeah but if my man is like hey let's talk i'll be like let me hear you out yeah because i believe like i said it's different for everyone god mm. might say shut you up <laughs> One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Mm. And one thing about me, Sham, come direct. Mm. That's a, that, yes, come you direct. know what? This thing of talking to your. F- yeah. Talk to me. Yeah. Talk to me. Don't. <clears throat> but anyway, that's another pandemic. Yeah. Mama, we'll, we'll be the end of Christian, man. I'm telling you. Yeah. Mama. Yeah. Yeah. Just a young little advice. For our Christian women, be direct. Go ask her out. Do what you need and, to do. And since I wouldn't, God said you are my wife. <laughs> I rebuke that lie in Jesus' name. Don't you? 
<laughs> that is number one <laughs> symptom of wa mm. Especially in the Christian when God said uh but moving on, how does one know that they are idolizing marriage? Mm-hmm. Mm. This is so good. Yeah. So I idolized marriage in first year. Mm. Fun fact, I thought by 21, mm. I'm gonna be a wife. Yeah. I was like, I'm gonna be married. Mm. And like I just started idolizing it to a point because for me, like the minute how can I say this? The minute you start idolizing the marriage, for me, is when you've already lost the purpose of marriage and it's all about you now. Mm. It's all about what can I get? What can we get? Blah 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 blah. But it's not about the glorification of God, because that's essentially the purpose of marriage. I mean, yes, you're marrying your best friend, happily ever after. <laughs> Great, but the main sole reason for marriage is for it to resemble Christ and the bride. And you think about it like constantly, like you're like oh, marriage, 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 marriage. <laughs> then. <laughs> Yeah, but but isn't that normal though? Like, do you think about? It? I don't know. I think there's a fine line. I feel like yeah, there is a fine line. Like for me, it was all I thought about. Mm. Like it, yes, okay. When marriage is your biggest accomplishment, mm. that's that's where the problem is. That's a good point. Like when you, you feel like when I get married, my life will be perfect. Yeah. Huh? <laughs> what about the day you got the Jesus? <laughs> Please. <laughs> What about the day you you spoke in tongues? <laughs> no. Yeah. Something is and right. I think yeah, I think that's how I plan to answer the question. What's the question? How do you know that you're idolizing it? It's once you put it above God. And yeah, I think I think yeah, once you are ready to risk everything, including your morals, including your relationship with God. Once you are ready, once you can feel that you will do anything for this thing, I think for me that's when you can that oh okay maybe here maybe yeah and yeah i think for me something that helped me to like identify like when i was idolizing marriage yes we speak like we're old if people were to find out how old i am but anyway that's not the point no. um yeah um what, what did i say oh um something that helped me to identify that oh snap i'm actually idolizing this thing is the sermon that i watched yeah. by stephanie Okay, I'll link it into the description that speaks about like exposing deception. Oh, yeah. So, so, so what she spoke about was like the fruits of um, something like how you'll know something by its fruits. Mm. So, basically, I ha- had like an unhealthy relationship with the idea of marriage, and the fruits of that they were not holy at all. So, fruits. Um, are referring to things like manipulation mm-hmm. and that's okay yeah that's um referred to more like when you idolize a person as opposed to like marriage on its own mm-hmm. but like mm-hmm. but like yeah that's the goes hand in hand basically watch for the fruits if the fruits are not of the spirit if the fruits are not holy then you are now idolizing marriage and yeah pray against that ask the lord to help you to have him first to yeah. yeah to have God first. Don't put anything above God, mm. and yeah, yes. Like I said, it's about resembling God and you know us, the bride. But also, God has an assignment on your marriage as well. Yeah, like the person that you're marrying, y'all better break those generational curses, yeah. honey. It's yeah. not about y'all looking cute. It's about does the devil seal as a threat? Mm. So, what gives you strength to continue waiting on? So, I mean, we're, we're at this point, I'm running on. <laughs> <laughs> oh, having the Holy Spirit. Guys, the Holy yes, Spirit. If you're like, this is the Holy Spirit, your life will be. Oh, yeah, that's true. I'm t- the Holy Spirit is so good, man. Like, he's, he's, he's really. He, yo, he's protecting me from myself. He's protecting yo, me. Yo, yo. Guys. Like, so, 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 like, yeah, I think even, like, a couple of questions that we answered um, earlier on, like, for me, my answer was the Holy Spirit because it genuinely is the Holy Spirit. That's He's the true. one who will give you the wisdom. He's the one who will pick you up when you are down. When a day comes and you are feeling lonely, you feel like the world is going to end. Yeah. You feel like you need a boyfriend right now. The Holy Spirit is there to give you wisdom. He's true. there to remind you that Trust me, I got you. So yeah, having a relationship with him, like once you cultivate that a healthy relationship with him, where you are able to like 
have him lead you and able yeah. to like hear him yeah i think for me that's what's keeping me going really so yeah i think that's i think also like for me is that you guys i have such a busy life like i feel like for me what keeps me i don't know if it gives me a strength but my calling is like a huge chunk of my life mm. like i'm so focused on like the vision of god and like what he's going to do and all of that that like i have less time to be like oh, mm. Mm. a boyfriend i mean obviously yes i do think about the desire is there but right now it's like okay right now we, we go for this like right now we do this right, right now we do all these things so yeah i feel like that's one thing that also and also like i said like praying to god like oh god like yeah. what's going on yeah yeah that's 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 the thing as well like to be yeah. open with god and like, to tell him how you actually exactly feeling. like so like, yeah <laughs> but yeah and also yeah. having friends bro like yeah. obviously god speaks in different ways and one of the ways it could be through people so i feel like having that community that will Yo guys, yo having that community and also being surrounded by pure love. I can't stress this enough. Mm. Like I feel like that's the season that I'm in right now. Just seeing like people around me being loved on correctly. That's like wow, I'm willing to wait. Oh yes, that's a very like good I'm point. willing yeah. to wait a bit two more weeks, maybe <laughs> two more seconds. I don't know. That's as far as I can wait. But I'm willing to, I'm willing to wait. So I feel like that also gives me the strength to keep waiting and, and then basically not lowering your standards because you can see that okay that's what i'm saying yeah not lowering my standards because yeah. like my duty yeah. not only experiencing pure love but also pointing out the things that i need to work out and be like my dear yeah yeah you know yeah all right and the next question on a more positive note what are the benefits of being single Cut the cameras. <laughs> you miss it a lot. You miss it a lot. <laughs> you can also uh, the benefits of being single. <laughs> they say <laughs> <make it better. laughs> for ten months. Just give us ten of them. Let's yellow. <laughs> no shame. It's I don't know. I realize that it's sometimes difficult to. See singleness as a gift. I don't. I think for me Ooh, it happened yeah. recently. Where even like when I had the statement, I was like, "What do you mean this thing is a gift? This thing it feels like a bit. yeah, yeah." Oh, but yeah, when I heard that, I was like, "Oh snap! Let me stop praying about that. Let me ask the Lord to help me to see this as yeah. a gift." Because what happens is you now your whole life you'll be living looking forward to the next stage mm-hmm. so when you're single you'll be like ah oh, i'm single that i don't like true. it i just want me a boyfriend you have a boyfriend ah i have a boyfriend okay i can't That's wait till we get married and you are now 84 you are still looking forward For to the, the next, next thing, thing and yeah. you're not embracing the season that you're in so you know i recently got to a point where i was like okay here we are we are single let us embrace the season and yeah. i pray to the lord and ask him to help me to like embrace it and you know to see the beauty in it yeah. they say there's beauty in it so i was like lord help me to see the beauty in it and yeah i think yeah that's a perspective that you can have as well if you're waiting yeah, on the sure. lord pray for the lord to ask you to help you to see the the the, the see it as a gift i need to stop reading my prayer to I'm see the beauty in it. <laughs> but like yeah with that being said what's the, what, the question was what i mean so basically yeah. the beauty of it you have a lot of time in your hands that is true and the time is money time no, is, is precious like yeah yeah i think the, the, the first thing is time so like yeah you you're free to do whatever it is that you want to do like now if i want to go out with Wipilo, i can go out with Wipilo. there is no tom waiting for me no. <laughs> anyway so so yeah in terms of time and i think maybe flexibility as well mm-hmm. o- also depending on the seriousness of the relationship like now if i want to move to another province oh that's really i can do, do so it, i don't need to consider anyone's, oh, anyone's future anyone's so Mission. yeah i think for me those are the biggest things like i still have freedom, freedom. i'm like for me yeah, guys, through this journey, the journey for two days. 
Yo, I, I don't know how long I've been walking through the wilderness mm. with Moses. Oh, wow. <laughs> That's really, but I feel like for me, like, the benefit is that, like, I think one thing that God discovered to me is something that I said in this video that, like, obviously, I believe that, like, before something, you need to prepare for it, mm. right? One thing that God was like, yo, like, before I bring that man, baby. Mm. You got to be solid. Like you need to know your father. Like you need to know his voice. You need to know your calling. You need to know yeah. where you called for. Because when he comes, then I'm like, remember, I'm not dating for vibes. Yes. Oh, come on, me I want marry. Come on, come on. Me yeah. I want linealo. <laughs> and the man that I end up with, he needs to be able to support and encourage the call of God upon my life. And I also need to do the same for him. Yeah. And we need to make sure that we're in one alignment spiritually or one vision one goal and all of that so i feel like that's the benefit of being single and also i would say oh man the free time bro like yeah. i get to serve the house oh, of yeah. god i get to discover my talent i'm like oh i don't have to do this oh, Dude, God, I, I, I think it's even mentioned the bible you about how when you are single you can see oh, which verse is that I, i'm telling you oh. i will put on the screen i don't have it now ah. I, hey, I'm, I'm telling I'm you not I'm, I'm, I'm just saying i've never heard it in i'm trying to remember life. how it goes i can't remember i'm exactly pretty sure paul how wrote it, it. Oh, fucking paul, yes. but i'll put it on the screen if i don't oh yeah oh yeah yeah now i remember it's yeah. the same thing yeah, for, for a second when i was like am like, i remembering it now when he's like uh we, we, we he encourages you to be not encourages but says it's rather good to be single because when you're married and you have to share your attention between your husband and God. No. Whereas when you're single, only yeah. it goes to their Lord. And I'm like, Lord, I'm ready to share now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm ready to divide and conquer. I'm, I'm ready, I'm ready. <laughs> I love the time that I'm in like I love that like God has got me busy 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 because I feel like if I was in a relationship right now nah, I wouldn't know my mm. attention right now is too God has me where he wants me mm. and I'm too busy at the right time at the right place God will make it happen yeah and then the last question what does doing relationship with God's way look like so I'm assuming now you'd be talking to an audience who haven't been doing a relationship with God's way and they oh. now want to do so. Wow. Or yeah, I think that's that is my thinking that's who you're talking to. Or maybe someone who just wants advice on how to do it better, God's way. Yeah, I'm worried I'm just like <laughs> anyway. I feel like honestly the number one thing is to be led by the spirit of God. Okay, one thing about me, I'm very practical. Like I hear being late, blah, 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 but I'm like, okay, my dear, that's the like, like, <laughs> like, let's be. I'm a visual person, so I like to visualize anything. Mm -hmm. So let's say you like a boy, mm -hmm. mind you, like, oh, this cute, mm -hmm. you know, you like a boy, or he likes you. You guys start talking, blah blah blah. Mm -hmm. The first thing is obviously pray about like, Lord, mm -hmm. reveal. Isn't um, isn't the first thing is he saved? Oh. <laughs> We are talking to someone who doesn't know this oh, thing. You can't know, assume. You can't assume. Like, you're talking to oh, a beginner. I so, I figured that in your head you've so assumed. Hey, my sister, we are I'm in sorry, the beginning. So, yeah, I think the first thing, he must be Christian, obviously. Born again, filled with the Spirit. Yes. Um, the, 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 the Bible does speak on that as well, about how he must be equally yoked. And then, obviously, from then, it's like, okay, um, What's your favorite color? I'm joking. <laughs> I'm joking. I'm joking. Uh, Obviously, from then it's like, okay, I'm gonna pray about it, and God will reveal what needs to be revealed. But sometimes, like, it's not that spiritual. I was about well. to say that. <laughs> like the Lord won't be like you won't. Thus you have the Lord. <laughs> no. Sometimes it's he's just weird. I'm sorry. <laughs> You said the Lord is weird. No, I'm saying the boy. No. Oh, I thought you meant the Lord. Oh, I was like, no. did you call, are you not afraid? No, no, no. no are you not no, scared? No, no, no. You're calling no, Jesus no, weird. Never. <laughs> never. Sometimes the guys are, he just runs you the wrong way. You're like, nah. Yeah. You know, but then if it gets a bit serious and you're like, oh, I like this boy, like we've been talking, you pray about it. Mm. And then you seek counsel. 
there's a verse you need to put it up there <laughs> proverbs that talks about um basically consulting in counselors yeah. like yeah. you'll be a strong tower or something like that but yeah like wisdom is also found in many counselors and that's when you consult people that are either in a better position mm. like in terms of relationship mm -hmm. they know the lord mm. or they have wisdom you know because you won't consult your worldly friend of like oh, what do you think about this guy obviously they won't have the same like conviction that you will have blah, blah, but mm. yes so that you pray about it the next step you tell someone um that you trust and that you know that they're full of the spirit like hey i really like this boy right sometimes when you're gone girl you don't have common sense <laughs> there's no as a gunny common sense does not it's coexist just, yeah yeah it's not a thing <laughs> so you need someone or a friend that will be like yo bro i don't like this man or that will examine for you and also pray on your behalf and like lord you know and sometimes they'll have the conviction before you have it mm. and then all of that and then i think for us we are very big on accountability so that's why we tell people mm. and if you're in a church um we would advise you to tell your leader mm. right um and that is the end of the video unfortunately it ended there because not all of it saved due to storage but that's fine god is still good um, if you made it this far thank you for watching um hopefully you learned something and you are encouraged in your season of waiting and if you were doing it god's way i hope you were encouraged to now do so um yeah so if you enjoyed the video please give it a thumbs up you can leave a comment in the comment section um and please share the video you do not know what your single friends are going through so you can just send it to your friends to just send some encouragement and yeah see you in my next video